Hey guys, Pretty here. Welcome back to Rags to Riches series here at Mercury Farms. John Deere exclusive, of course. Um, here we are for another episode, episode number nine. Yep, number nine. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so this episode, um, we've finished off bailing and all the stuff that we did do on that field over here, and we've got enough money now, eighty-nine thousand, to purchase field fifty-two. So purchase this guy, it's going to give us a little bit more um, grass to mow, some more trees to cut down, and also another field. So let's jump in now, join the 8820, get this thing started up, get him to move forward, and we'll start harvesting our corn. So it is a corn field, we'll probably change it to something else after this, but... Something a little bit different with this series. We haven't done corn yet. We've been doing a lot of other crops in that field, but not, not corn. So let's have a look at the best price for corn at the moment, which is 1706, the Windmill Hill, which I think is going to be a fair way away, isn't it? Oof, fair way away. Bit of a shortcut through there, but it still looks like it'll be a fair distance away. Alright, so we'll get this... Um, cut and um, we have to start doing some more field prep work on this field as well to um, get it ready for our next harvest probably the next day I suppose but interesting to see um, how much we actually get out of this field and what the crops sort of work it's a decent sized field um, yeah it looks pretty good pretty good field pretty good price as well so cannot complain at all. Let's um, grab a quick screenshot while we're here. Um, I was looking around at other fields as well and I have noticed that this guy, it's reasonably cheap, 92,000, but these guys along here, 60,000 and 65, and that one's 85, but see, 60, 68, 65, pretty cheap down there. So their other fields we'll look at after we get this one over here as well, just to sort of continue Continue sort of increasing our value and our stake on all the farms in the area. We want to be the number one farmer in the area, going from rags to riches, of course. Um, I've also sold our F100 um, partially to give us enough money to buy this field, although we still would have had enough anyway. But I just sort of wasn't happy with the turning, how the turning was going with that truck, so I decided to get rid of it. Alright, I'm going to hire a worker here, have a look and see who's helping us today. Uh, a visitor, I think it says. No, Victor. Is it Victor? Oh, I think it says Victor. Yep, it's Victor. I thought it said visitor for a second there. I did update the um, helper helper mod, so don't know if I'm going to have to go back through and um, change things. We can't do it now, we've got a hired helper, so... Alright, so this guy still has our lime spreader attached. I don't think we need... No, we don't need any lime for there, but we do need to plough the field. But we'll do that when we cultivate, of course. So we take this guy back. We can dump him off there, and then we can grab our trailer to start unloading our harvester. So he's going to be full pretty quick. Then we're going to have a long run to go to get to the sale place up there fair hike. Right, so hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series. I know I've been enjoying playing it just as much as I've been enjoying playing our other Rags Riches series at the Pinky. Um, I have today purchased a new screen for my middle monitor. It's um, 31 and a half inches compared to my usual 22 inches. So I've still got the triple screens but I've got the big 31 and a half in the middle and the 22 on the sides which is it's good, but it's also it's going to be hard to get used to. The, um, the screen is so much bigger, as you guys probably will know. And um, it's going to be hard to get used to the size of everything and being so close to it. I think I need to um, purchase a proper computer table now and um, move back away from the screen a little bit. I'm pretty much just using a fold-out camping table at the moment. Because um, I did sell my sim rig and my steering wheel so that's all gone there'll be, there'll be no more sim racing on the channel uh, for quite a while I would say 
sort of just felt like I needed to get rid of it because it wasn't really being used and sort of branch out upgrade my screens I've only got one new one but I want to get another two new ones to match the new one I've got in the middle um, and sort of branch away from sim racing and just focus on the other stuff which is bringing a lot more of you guys to the channel on that sort of thing so so yeah that's that's um they sold sold pretty quick sim rig went really quick within a day of me advertising it on facebook it sold within a day of advertising my steering wheel on facebook it sold as well so both gone picked up the new screen got a little bit of extra money there i'm going to throw in the bank for a rainy day and maybe even pay off some other bills but um hopefully we can get him to stop here but yeah so it's going to be Something for me to get used to, the size of the screen. Certainly going to be a little bit different, but it's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if I can yeah, sort of get up here. Maybe zoom in a little bit and probably get a better screenshot to what I had before. Something like that. Right, there we go. I have to run back down. It's hard to reset it, how close you are to things. Run back down, jump in this guy, and we might as well get um, our header trailer taken back up to the farm, out of the way. You might even grab the uh, subsoiler, the cultivator slash plower, and um, at least get started on that field. We might as well get started. Well, we've got nothing. We've got nothing to bail. There's no straw or anything left behind by the corn, of course. So, only thing is, I don't know if this tractor will be strong enough. If not, we can swap them over, I guess. So I have also picked up the Anderson DLC. If we go into the shop here. Uh, actually, I haven't even added it. I haven't added it to this save game, but I have picked up the Anderson DLC. So it's something I will add to this game. Uh, we could possibly use that later on for picking up bales and all that sort of stuff. And maybe, and maybe even expanding into poplars or something like that. That'll be something a little bit different, something I haven't really done before. So that's an option as well. Um, I've just dumped off the mower deck on the ground there, as you can see. Didn't really need it, so I thought I'd take it off. We'll leave it there, and we can come back and grab it later on when we need it. So we'll drop our header trailer off. Um, chicken's still doing reasonably well. They're not going to make us a great deal of money. So um, yeah, you guys let me know. Do you think we should stay with just farming crops? Should we go with animals, should we go with the new Anderson DLC, do some poplars, just focus on a whole lot of silage stuff, you know, you guys, you guys let me know, you guys have the input as well. Right, I'm just going to quickly check and see, this tractor, is it, it's the least one, 105 horsepower, and what is that, 100, so he's just got enough horses behind him, why is he still sitting there? They never just like move on. So this guy should be able to get this done, hopefully. Right, so we'll lower you down. Get hired worker, jump in this tractor and get out of the way. So at least we know this harvest is going to continue on. Victor will keep going. We've got Victor and Emma helping out today. So as I said in um, previous episodes, if you guys want to be showcased as a hired helper in FS19, become a member of the channel. So not just a, a subscriber, but a member as well. So hit that little join button and um, become a member and we'll put you in as a hired worker in the game. That's Emma, but it's a guy. Okay, his name is Emma. <laughs> Righto, so we should get um, a good 25,000, 30,000 litres out of this field, I guess. I'm going to sort of work out how fast. We should be harvesting at 10 kilometres an hour. Yep. So we can probably slow ourselves down to 10, and when he's on his way back up, we can follow him along and unload him at the same time. But that tractor's pulling, pulling that along nicely. So is that, um, 
It's not classed as ploughing though, is it? I thought it was. Maybe we didn't buy a subsoil. Like maybe we just brought um. Uh, yes, we didn't buy a subsoiler at all. I thought we did. So we're going to have to buy one. You're three metres, you're only three metres as well. Uh, we might have to buy this guy, I think, and use that instead of what we're using now. Recycle through to you, might as well unhire you. Jump here there for a second. Jump out. I might as well just reset this back to the shop. Might be the easiest way to do it. And then we can just bring that back from the shop. Like this. Which we have to go on the other side. No. Why is there a double attachment? That's interesting. Maybe we can attach something else to it. I didn't even look at that. Um, no, there's no sort of thing there, but it's like there's another three point hitch, so we could possibly even put um like a three meter cedar on the back, which we could possibly grab one of these guys and throw it on the back. That would be interesting. Let's um let's lease one and let's test it out, see if that actually works. I think it should work because that would be awesome if that works. Start filling you up. So we need a little bit more wheat. Let's grab another, or seed I should say, another seed bag. Fill that up. Whoa. Yep, we'll get him out of the way. And we should be able to seed and plow and subsoil at the same time, maybe. Probably not with this tractor, I don't think. We might have to use the other one, but... See how we go. Um, grass, wheat, barley, oats, canola, soybeans. Might go some soybeans, I guess. So how's he going? Is he nearly full? It's not flashing yet, so I don't think he's quite full yet. So we'll head back down. Hopefully this is going to work. I think um, this seed is going to need 85 horsepower plus whatever's on the subsoil, which I think was 90, so like 175 horsepower maybe. We're probably not going to have enough with this guy. Maybe with a 44 40, we should have enough horsepower. Um, one thing I'd like to see change with this map is this stuff here, this area here, we can't actually buy it. Like, I like the option. You can obviously buy that bit there. Big grass field. But I'd like the option to buy sort of the area around here so we can at least cut the grass and pick the grass up and maybe use it as silage or something and sort of keep the area nice and neat and tidy and that sort of thing we can't even go and mow it now because we don't own it and it says we don't have access to that field so it's a little bit a little bit frustrating but all right so we'll um go back and test this back boy out see if it's going to work uh ridge marker we don't really need ridge markers but we'll go through to here unload lower Victor's nearly got a full grain tank. He got a little bit further than I thought he would. So as we did do a couple of runs, I think, before we hired him, so... Right, so this should now, hopefully, clear the ploughing stage. Don't quote me on it, but I'm kind of hoping it will. Lower you. Turn you on. And go 
this way and go hire a worker. You should keep doing your thing. Is that gonna? I think it is. Oh, there's Jacko. We'll have to wait and see. But that's that's more than handling it, which is quite surprising, really. Let's see. We'll have a look. We'll work out. Yeah, I think it certainly is. It certainly is clearing. Um, trying to say clearing the need for plowing. Let's go buddy, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh god. Full grain tank. Yeah, so if we go back and look at the subsoilers instead of a plow, yep. Yeah. Thought it would. We've even got this guy. The Roto Tiller for the ride on. Quite interesting using that guy, but that um yeah that's definitely working. It's good to see. So now we're gonna have to go for a decent drive to sell this corn. Because I think um corn they're yeah, eight ninety three, it's like half, nearly half of what it is at the windmill hill. It's certainly gonna be worth the drive. Bump our speed up. We should be able to duck through our hole in the fence up here. Which you might not, we might wait and then duck straight across the road. Head straight up towards where we need to tip it off. What is your problem? It's got like weird hitboxes with these cars. I think it's beeping at us, but we're nowhere near that road, so I don't know. So we can also cut down the fence between the fields which is quite an interesting concept and allow us to join those fields together if we like. But we'll have to use a proper plough for that, not just um, a subsoiler. Well, it's just going to be a fairly lengthy drive, I think, to get um, to the sale point. Alright, so we'll get this done and we'll head back down and unload him again and hopefully we're halfway done with that field we can start seeding as well. Try and get um, a fair bit done this episode, that'll be great. Um, so yeah, I think... Um, if I get the Anderson DLC into this game, I think it really it'll really be up to you guys whether we actually um, decide to use it or not. Um, it's an option, or we can sort of stay away from it if you like. It's sort of, as I said, completely up to you guys. Um, oh, that's pretty cheap. A couple of grass fields here. That is reasonably cheap. That's pretty good. Plenty of trees to cut down. Some trees to cut down over there. Quite interesting. Oh, where am I going? Yeah, some trees to cut down. There's a big rock in the way. Probably some bushes to clear out of the way, but it's quite an interesting little spot there. This is a nice big area to build as well. I'm assuming that's probably where one of the previous farms was before before they decided to uh, pack up and leave and that's all that. We've got some tyres and logs and stuff laying around. Right, so it's a fairly lengthy drive up here, especially only at 30 kilometres an hour. And I think our other guys are doing, doing pretty good. Victor's probably finished this pass, I think. That might even be the last pass and well, maybe one more and then he'll be finished. So the last lot we might even just sell at the livestock market instead of coming all the way back to here. I know we're going to lose a bit of money, but or even sell it somewhere. Garden centre, vehicle shop, grain, so maybe even just the garden centre. The next lot. Ooh. Losing a little bit of money, but not too much. Here's Windmill Hill. Quite interesting. 
So there's a factory in the background over there too. So dump these off, see how much we get. We should get a decent amount. Probably about 24,000, 25,000 maybe. A little bit of extra money in our pocket to be able to expand our fields, of course. So we want to go um, garden centre will be our next delivery point. So we get 20, 24,000, as I say, 23,884. Not bad money at all. So let's head back down and unload Victor. I would say he's probably going to be finished. I guarantee he'll be finished before we get back there, but he probably won't be 100% full when we get back. If we have another quick look at the map. Where is he? Yep, just about done. So we finished any second now. We go, complete this task. So that field might be far off getting completely done we'll be able to come back and seed it pretty quick as well so it's going to depend on how quick um, our other hide worker Jacko can get this sort of done actually he's seeding it too isn't he he's seeding it and plowing and cultivating so that's that's going to be awesome we're going to have to come back and um, fertilize though fertilize a couple of times so that'll be our thing to do I guess to so come back and unload and dump this load off go back and fertilize and um, should be ready to get through to the next day we can have a quick look at any other jobs that are going at the moment some fertilizing uh, what else more fertilizing harvesting cultivating transporting baling It'd be good to do a baling job but it's um, going to hit this fence in a second. Um, tether, so you need to tether it as well. Not much money though, considering. Tether it as well. Don't have anything to tether it with, we'd have to lease some stuff. I'm not really keen on doing that. So there's a big field here, which is grass as well. Which one's this? Field 6. 155,000. So I think if we do go poplars, like here or here would be the ones that we go and put poplars on. One of those two fields, I think, would be the way to go. So I think, well, we're not this one because there's so many trees. I'm going to have to cut down a lot of those trees and get them out of there. Maybe the other side and sort of turn that area into one big poplar field, maybe look at the Anderson DLC as I said and um, make some poplar bales which will be interesting right, so we'll cross over after this guy go and empty out our harvester I think that header should, the harvester should be able to make it back through here with that header on I did um, lease a header trailer just to be able to bring the corn header back without taking the harvester up there with um, one of our tractors and then I returned returned the header trailer because we weren't going to need it again. We've got um, one header trailer sitting there so we just put whatever header on it we need and um, disappear from there. And some weeds arriving as well so we can test out our um, our weeder again, our Gorenk Pula, it's called. Did have an update since last time we used it, and I remember, remember last time it didn't actually work properly, so hopefully this time with the new update, it's been fixed. I need a tiny amount of weeds. So oh, there we go, there's some more. Slowly growing. Not to speed up a little bit, it might grow a little bit quicker. So yeah, be good, good decent harvest out of this field. I think 24,000 plus whatever we've got here, which will be another 8,000. So probably 30, 30 to 35,000 in total, of course. Uh, empty, done. 
to try and head this guy back. He definitely fit. That head is not massive. It's the same width of, as the harvester pretty well, so we should be able to make it back up to the farm comfortably. So that field there, what do we place in there? Um, nothing yet, I don't think. We haven't even seeded that field yet. We have was it sweet beans going into there. We might be able to put canola or something into this one. Test them out as far as price goes and see what sort of money we can make. I think we'll um, still keep that cedar. So we're not always going to have to plough, but then again our, our cultivator is only 3 metres wide anyway, so we might as well use our subsoil and our cedar at the same time. Uh, there we go. And we could use this with the subsoil, but it's just too wide. Probably not much point. Um, let's grab these eggs, throw them into there. Ah, uh, you've got a little bit of stuff we can go and sell. I think we might even get you back seeding that field. Once this guy's done, we can look at fertilising. So neither of them are fertilised at the moment. Can we duck out here? We can duck out here. Then head up to the garden centre and sell this trailer. I know some people have said that we can get water and sell water at the garden centre. I think we might be able to sell water down here too, which would be quite interesting. Being able to pick up water from the local uh, waterway here, local lake or dam or whatever it is, and um, take it and actually transport it and sell it. Don't know what sort of money we would make out of that. But an option just like um, manure there's a spot that we can actually get manure from and transport it and also sell it as well so there's a few things we could possibly look at later on if you guys want to go that way but not quite sure I know us coming here and getting water out of there is free and then we sell it and make money but it's kind of doesn't seem right to me I mean, if we could um, get a water tank or water water tower that we had to actually pay for the water and then sold it and made a little bit of profit, I'd be happy to do it, but getting it for free out of there and then selling it sort of doesn't seem right to me. You guys let me know. So I might slow the speed down again. Sort of hear gunshots or something in the background. Something's exploding anyway. Right, so we'll turn into the garden centre. We'll get rid of this load of corn. So there must be a spot. I'm assuming we can buy manure from the manure heap over there. There's other things there that we could possibly buy as well. There's fuel. We're probably going to need some fuel while we're here. Um, all that unloading bay is where we unload the stuff for the jobs. Um, is, it, is that a water tank? It's a water tank or a silo, but that's like a slurry, that's manure, of course. Um, I don't know if any of these sort of like grass, uh, silage. Total mixed ration, maybe? Looks like peanuts. Pellet pig food, maybe. I don't know. A couple of garden sheds that we could possibly purchase. Some chicken coops. Alright, sell some bales over there, I think. And sell wool there, maybe, as well. Let's see if we can actually refuel from here. Um. 
I don't think we can. That's a shame. We're going to need to buy our own fuel bowser anyway for the farm because we're going to need it pretty soon. And either a field service trailer or um, somewhere we can actually take our machines into and actually service them. So we're at yeah, 4.3 hours, so we need to service it every 5 hours to keep our warranty up at the store, so... Certainly need to get this guy in for a service. I know we can take it back to the store, get Noah to sort it out, but um, I think us being able to do it ourselves will save us a little bit of money in the long run. Don't know if there was anything. Uh, seed hut. No, I don't think there's anything as far as servicing goes in the standard map. No, I don't think so. So we'd have to um, use the modded service station, of course. I don't know if we have. It's the fuel trailer. The service trailer, I don't have installed into this game at the moment so we probably could bring that in and purchase that and be able to bring it down and service stuff back here or as I said I'll look at um, maybe trying to put in a shed somewhere and a little service area which will probably save us a little bit of money in the long run but I think sometime soon we're probably going to need to um, sell our trailer home and um, purchase a proper house for us sort of at that stage where we're starting to make a little bit of money and that, that can probably go. It's a bit of an eyesore. Alright, so we'll grab our cedar after we drop our trailer off and we'll go and start seeding our other field. And then we probably will be finished on our new field. It should be fully cultivated, ploughed and also seeded. So it should be finished and ready to go. Go drop you off, go and grab our cedar. So as I said, I do have some dramas with this guy. We hook this guy up, we can go fill. See, doesn't change, fertilizer. Press fill, doesn't change at all. But then if I go over to here, it doesn't even give me the option to fill. I don't know if it's the fill station. Actually, it's not the fill station. Because I did buy in a stand-up sort of tower. Um, cedar sort of fill station. Let's quickly change the canola. Um, to test it out as well, and that didn't work either. It's only the, the bags that actually work. So we may need to ditch this cedar eventually. Um, or we'll just keep an eye out for updates of this actual mod because it's it's a pretty good cedar and I like it and I want to keep using it but if we can't refill it without using bags then I might look at something else otherwise we're probably going to have to get um, another truck or another trailer or something to bring some bags of seed down to the farm I guess that's probably our only other only option alright let's go hire worker Let's unhire worker and try and move over a little bit. I thought we'll lined up perfectly then. Alright. Let's go back through now and then hit hide worker. Who have we got? Sarah in the seat at the moment. You're just about finished. You really haven't got much to do either, this guy. I still like this, this thing's pretty cool. Chickens, still making a mess, as always. We'll take a quick look at those. Um, only 8 litres of eggs, but that's because we have emptied into here. doesn't tell us how much is actually in there at the moment, but we've got a full box plus extras. Making sure th none of this is on... Yep, it's all on off, that's good. Just making sure... Actually, fuel... I thought it said fast and no default. Um, everything else is normal, which is good. 
This is his last run, and then we're gonna start fertilizing. So all our hide helpers are doing a good job. Um, who's this? This is Jacko, isn't it? I think. Might not tell us because we're actually in it, but looks like a girl. Sorry, Jacko. Just need to work out what's going on with um, the hide helper mod. That might be why there's an update. Um, so we've got now Gorenk pull up to two meters, so two meter wide. That'll get rid of all the weeds and stuff all through here. It has been updated, so I'm hoping that it's changed um, what it was before, because it just wasn't working how it should. So that should be fully seeded with some soybeans. Awesome. Getting some canola root over there, and then we're going to head back now and grab our fertilizer spreader and fertilize both of these fields. So I will test out this guy and see if this guy will allow us to fill using the seed station now. I'm pretty sure it will, but I just want to make sure. Make sure it's not. It's, make sure it's an issue with the seeder and not actually an issue with the hut itself. I have no idea what that guy's doing. She's all the way over here. She should be over here. So we'll slow down and we'll go fill. Yep, see so seeds. Has something to do with that mod, unfortunately. Right, you can go into here. Uh, grab our spreader. We're we'll gonna have to grab our other cultivator as well and probably sell that now, but we don't need it, so we can um let Rebecca know we don't need it anymore. This thing is massive on the back of this tractor. I think we've got a whole heap of front weight on the front to keep this guy on level ground. Um, I think for some reason you're having dramas. I have no idea why. It's not that hard to seed the field. So let's head back down. Hopefully, we won't have that drama again this time. Sort of weird. I don't know how she ended up going from the bottom of the field to there, then all the way over near that fence. It certainly is very strange for her to get all the way over there. Right, let's start spraying or spreading fertilizer. I must say, this screen does make this game look so much better. The other screens I used are only, as I said, 22 inch or something like that, but they're oof, 10 years old. They're only cheap Acer screens, so they're not very good. The one I purchased today was a 31.5 inch Philips. I don't know if it was 4K or not. Didn't really take much notice, I just knew it was big screen, pretty cheap, so I grabbed it. Are you doing now? I'm hoping you sort of sort yourself out in a second here. Elizabeth now. All right. Um, which I think I think you're fertilising anyway as you go, aren't you? If we go and have a look, I think I think she is anyway. She's fertilising with the cedar as she goes, but that's fine. We'll get it done. Get it done, and then we'll head on to the other field. Get the other one fertilised. Then we're going to have to look at... Um, so get rid of these weeds. Hopefully, you can turn around properly this time. Fingers crossed, otherwise we're going to have to take care of it ourselves. So we're finally starting to expand a little bit more. We've got two fields now instead of just the one. Some more equipment. Still a little bit of money in the bank ready for buying other things, expanding to more fields, I guess. I think 
the next one is like 90,000? 92, so that'll be our next purchase, of course. Keep an eye on Elizabeth over here and see what she's doing. Really strange. Might need to do... Yeah, so this will be still another three passes. I think this field is a little bit wider than that one. Not by much, but... What are you bloody doing? Reverse donuts. I'll tell you what, some of you guys... You want to be out here helping, but you don't, you don't really help at all. Right, let's get this bit done. Uh, maybe sort of, no, god damn it. I'm going to hire a worker to do that. I'm going to tell you to stop. So, I don't think it's the tree stumps. I really don't think it is, because they're miles away. I have no idea what the problem is here. You go, keep doing your thing. Oh, but Christy, finished. Finito. Quick look. Yep, we just need to get rid of these weeds now. We can start on these weeds. Quickly check out this mod, or this weeder. Make sure this update has improved. I suppose we did try it on that, la that tractor last time, so we probably won't get a real... Um, Pressing it, but it's not working. There's no horn on this thing. <coughs> Yourself. Um, it might be a good test, I suppose, because it was that tractor we used on it the first time when it didn't work, so. I don't know if it's going to be the tractor or it's the mod, but I guess we'll eventually find out, because if it's going to work this time, we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it on the farm and keep using it as we need it. So I'm kind of thinking that this is going to be, this tractor here, not just going to be our mower, it's also going to be our sort of run around tractor. If you need to run to the shops, we'll take this guy. If you need to run to the store, pick something up, we'll take this guy, because it's quick. Um, the only problem is the food. Can't really go and buy all the groceries from the store, so we're going to have to maybe get some sort of agreement. I'm not even doing anything. Now it's classed as a weight. I don't know. Hoping they fix this mod otherwise I'll be a little bit frustrated. It's like I can hear it working. It's hard to hear so I don't know if you guys will be able to hear it but I can just hear it in the background. So we'll have to organise something with the uh, shop owner up there and see if they can maybe deliver our groceries as we need them. But I think, yep, it's gonna work. Awesome. It's good to see. Alright, I'm gonna hire a worker. We'll get Christy in there helping out. I'm gonna get rid of you, because you guys are really, really frustrating me at the moment. For some reason, you guys just don't want to do the job properly. I'm gonna have to move back to the start. There we go. Head down. We might as well get this done. Instead of hiring a worker. Because they're struggling. Struggling to turn around at the end of the field for some reason. Don't really know what the problem is. So hopefully you guys have been enjoying this series. I know, as I said, I've still been enjoying recording it. And it has been getting you know, plenty of views and that sort of stuff. So... I think you guys are, are enjoying it still. I said, if you guys ever have any suggestions or anything, um, let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Feel free to send me a message on Discord if you find any decent John Deere mods that we can probably bring into the uh, Let's Play series. Um, but if it's a direct link to like a Google Drive download or I don't know, like a Dropbox download, I probably won't download it just because of. Um, viruses and that sort of stuff so unless it's from a reputable website such as farming simulator 19 mods.com or uh, something else along those lines um, I probably won't download it so just to sort of protect myself and my PC and that sort of stuff which I know that most of you guys will probably do the same we want to make sure we don't go getting any viruses on our computer which is going to cause 
heap of dramas, so. So, yeah, so if you guys have got any ideas for anything, let me know. Send me a message on Discord, as I said, or leave it in the comment section, and um, I'll take a look at it. But we'll um, end the episode here, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, as always, smash that like button. As I said, leave a comment if you like. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.